What up, people? It's Jason here from Custom Cans, and I got something a little bit different this week. I got a in-ear headphones. I've, I don't think I've tried any in-ear headphones since uh, since mini discs were cool. I remember I had a nice little Pioneer mini disc that wasn't much bigger than a mini disc case, and oh, I had really good in-ear headphones. Sounded amazing balls. But yeah, I had uh, since then. I think I've been mainly over ear because I was kind of DJing for many years, so I always had decent over ear, like on ear headphones. Because I wanted everyone to know I was a DJ, so I had to wear my big DJ headphones everywhere. Yeah, so in ear headphones, it's just not been on my radar. Initially, I was thinking, I don't know, we don't really do. There's not a lot I can do with in ear headphones. But these ones seemed exciting because they've got five drivers. That's four more than many of the things I test. And they've been tuned by someone, uh, Luca Bingardi, who won a Grammy uh, for sound engineering, so he knows how to listen to stuff, and he's been involved in this. It was, I was like, how has this happened? But I looked him up, and uh, yeah, over the past few years, he's got into headphone tuning, and he's also moved to China. And as one more is a Chinese company at all, I'm like, how is a Latin a sound engineer doing this? But yes, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. So I'm really excited to hear these. Like, uh, join me on a journey. I... And I don't know what do in ears sound like. I cannot remember. And if you're going to do it, do something good. But I just go over what we've got on the box. Five driver acoustic structure. Uh, uh, so I had to look that up. They kindly sent me a video. And if we just have a look at that. So as you can see, yeah, you've got a dynamic driver in there, which are better for bass. And then you've got five balanced armature drivers. And you'll notice that they're also all at different angles firing into the ear. So that might make sound staging and kind of room effect a little bit better as you've got sounds coming from slightly different directions. That'd be really interesting to have a look at. Um, yeah, so that, that's one thing that interests me. So obviously dynamic drivers, I'm doing a lot of tuning on headphones and stuff. Best to remember dynamic drivers. But I haven't played with the balanced armature. I've, I've got a couple of projects that I might want a balanced armature driver for. Yeah, so that's something I'm just learning about now. So the advantage of balanced armature drivers is they can give very accurate treble and they can be tuned to certain frequencies quite well, but they don't work over a huge range of frequencies, which is why having multiple drivers is common. And then for that thump in the badonkadonk region, they've also got a dynamic driver. So dynamic drivers are still better for kind of bass response and that hit and punch. So this, they've gone for a hybrid with both flavours in there. So this is... This is quite interesting. So let's uh, let's get into this. Let's do a traditional unboxing style video. Ooh, the peel. That's nice. <laughs> Quality feeling packaging. Nice paper covered cardboard. Inside it just gives you a brief idea of what you're going to get. So here we've got the five driver acoustic structure. It's got MMCX connectors, which is nice. So you can replace the cable or upgrade the cable if you want ergonomic fit but to be honest it kind of has to be you don't want it to be really horrible in your ear it's also got a yeah it looks like it's got a remote with a decent MEMS mic in so it should be good for making telephone calls ideal for use on the move I'm quite looking forward to trying these out over the next couple of days and uh, use them on my journey to work and I've got a couple of train journeys to do as well so that'll be good for that silver plated copper cable so uh, decent cable let's hope it's quite soft not too microphonic because that will make all the difference so here are our actual jobbies at the top here. What's under here? Ooh. Right, cable under there. What do we get in the box? Okay. So, oh, I like these little tabs so you can pull the boxes out. Again, nice, nice, oh, look, that's got a little tab there as well. Nice, uh, <laughs> nice packaging. So you've got the, got a little case. Let's get that out, a little, little pouch. It's pretty, you know, pretty standard pouch, nothing overly magical. A little drawstring bag for you to keep them in. Uh, what have we here? Some kind of adapter. Ooh! So you got a little USB-C to headphone adapter, which will be handy because I know a lot of phones these days don't have headphone sockets, and also iPhones are no longer in the past. They've got USB-C now as well, so that'll be should be compatible. Although knowing Apple, they'll probably make it incompatible somehow and then we've got various tips here so we've got foam tips down the bottom let's have a look at one of those oh yeah so kind of squidgy ooh, squidgy like memory foam it kind of holds its shape again I'm new to in-ears so this is all new to me so you've got foam tips and let's get one of these and then these are your standard weird flippy floppy rubber tips and they've got a a mesh on the inside that will protect ear schmoo from getting inside your headphones. Interesting to have a little listen, see what the fitment's like. But I suppose it's more to do with the size of your lug holes. 
Uh, I think I've got quite small ears, so I'm probably going to go with the smaller one, like small ear holes. So I'm probably going to go with the smaller ones and see how they fit, and I might try the phone tips as well. But yeah, overall, nice packaging. Seems to come with everything you need. What, what have we got in here? Destructions. Okay, so yes, very nice packaging. It feels feels quality. I know that, that shouldn't matter, you know, in some cases you're thinking, oh, could I have just had my headphones five pound cheaper? But the nice packaging just makes it feel, you know, feels like a special thing. You've got, what have we got in here? It's a little paper bits holding the cable together. See, if that was a Velcro, that'd be nice because you could reuse that. Let's look at the actual jobbies here. So they say one more on the side. Um, feels like they've got metal metal bodies, they're quite cold to the touch. Something in metal bodies, we've got M... 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 What is it? MCXX? I can never remember what combination of letters it is. I never remember. I know it's got two of one letters, it's got an M of C and an X it somewhere. So these little clipping connectors on there, which is nice, so it means that you can change your cables, so if you wanted to upgrade the cable or something in the future, or you break this cable, so that's that's important, because yeah, a broken cable, don't want it to take out your expensive headphones. I think these are around £179, £200-ish. Um, yes, yeah, so they're quite costly, but yeah, nice little, yeah, they feel, they feel quite nice. I'm not a huge fan of the domed logo on there, but... That's, if that's what your logo is, then that's, <laughs> that's that's what it is. Yeah, I think they could have prettied that up slightly more, but you know, these are only little things. All right, so let's try these out. Have a listen. Oh, wow, they're really good. That is surprisingly good. <laughs> Yeah, certainly running off a little little amplifier like these. Obviously, these are relatively low impedance. These are going to run off mobile phones and things quite easily. But yeah, who was it? Luca Bingardi. Well done. They are really nicely tuned. They're like really balanced. I like them. I I know I got a free set, so I'm probably a little bit biased. But uh, there was nothing. You know, normally you have a listen to something and you like there's something something not right. And uh, they no, they they're good. Um, so yeah, nice crisp treble, you know, you've got sparkle at the at the high end, the vocals are kind of smooth, like you want, like they're not, not, not too harsh, you've got uh, the deep sub bass comes through from that dynamic driver, and the sound staging, obviously, with in-ears, it's normally like all inside your head, but it's not, I've certainly heard something with narrower sound stage, and obviously I, I haven't got a lot to compare. I haven't listened to a modern pair of in-ears. 180, 200 pounds, I think they're really good. I can't, I, I can't find anything wrong with them. Like, they're not, I don't know, like you listen to like a big planar headphone, like a Aria, and there's, there's definitely a bit more magic because obviously you've got the bigger diaphragm and you get a bigger kind of sound stage and that kind of thing. But uh, as far as tonal balance go, they're really nicely, really nicely balanced. I can see the remote being useful so you can make calls. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to my next train journey because I'm gonna be, well, I always feel a bit of an idiot with the mahoosive headphones on. So I'm gonna try these out. Uh, yeah, now I've got a set here. I'm gonna try them out on a few different things. All right, let's get a second opinion. James, uh, have, a, have a play on those. James is in no way going to benefit from these, so he's probably a little bit less biased than me. Are these the tips that come on them? Yeah. Do you want to try different tips? Uh, yeah, maybe. I might have big ear holes or something. Ah, oh, they were too big for my ear holes. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me grab, grab some. Uh, here you go, James. A selection of both foam and standard oh, wow. tips. No notes, they're great. I can't really. I see, yeah, that's it's all, it's all good. It's all right, yeah. yeah it's Everything weird, is, isn't it? As it should be. Yeah. They fit really nicely, they're nice and small. They go right in your ear. There's... I think with the foam tips, they're a lot better. Oh, yeah, I didn't try them with the foam tips. Yeah, I'll have to have a, yeah. have to have a go. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not used to in ears, it's not something I've really played with. Yeah. Have you got any other in ears to compare them to? Yeah, I've got a few in like the 40 quid price range, and yeah, these are way better, but you'd hope they'd be for, I think they're about 150, aren't they? 
Yeah, I think like 180, 200. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah right in that kind of in that kind of range. But yeah, yeah, quite impressive. Yeah, and I think they sound as good as headphones in that kind of price yeah. range. Yeah, for yeah. sure. They've even got a bit of sound stage, which is. I'm glad you said that because I said that, and I didn't think. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think they've got like drivers all angled at different different angles, yeah. which is quite interesting. Anyway, thank you, James. It was good to get a reality check and a second opinion to make sure I wasn't being all biased. <laughs> So there we go, that was really interesting. My first experience of in-ear headphones in probably 20 years and uh, kicked off with a good one. It was, uh, they sounded really good. Like they, you know, I, I know the, the dude tuned them, but he's done a really good job. Like everything's got really good separation. Nothing's op overpowering anything else. Really nicely tonally balanced. And it was good to get uh, get James to have a go as well, just to make sure I've got a sanity check. You know, I, I, I don't know, I was just surprised how good they were, to be honest. They sound almost like planar drivers, you know, with that deep bass and also like a nice detailed treble and mids. Really, yeah, really good. I'm not getting any money from one more for this video. I, I did ask, they said no. But, uh, but despite that, I'm still giving them a thumbs up. They're really good. Yeah, I, I'm just, yeah, just really impressed. Uh, In-ears have just come a long way since I last listened to them. These are, these are really, really good. And uh, yeah, I, can't, I, I just can't see anyone having a problem with them, like, unless it's a fitment thing. Uh, you've got quite a lot of tips in there, which is good to, to get the fitment right. But yeah, there's, there's kind of nothing wrong with them. They're, they're, they're really good, which it, that doesn't sound like wild praise, but that is, that is where, I, where I come from. You know, I, I find a headphone with something wrong, I, I tweak it. Whereas these ones, they've done a really good job. Yeah, so I'm going to stick a link in the description to where uh, you'd buy these. Obviously, I'd probably check out some other reviews. I'm not an in-ear headphone reviewer, um, but certainly if I was, I'd say they're really good. I'm just really impressed. So let me know what you think. I uh, don't know if you've tried these. It'd be really interesting to, to hear your thoughts. So anyway, uh, yes, it's been awesome hanging out and uh, I, I've had a new experience today and I hope you enjoyed coming on the journey with me and uh, I'll see you guys again. All right, Jason out.